Let's look at pressure, force and area. So the key formula we need is that pressure equals to force divided by area. And some useful rearrangements are that force equals to pressure times area and area equals to force divided by pressure. The units for pressure that we commonly see are newtons divided by meter squared or pascals and the units for force we normally see are newtons and the units for area we normally see are centimeters squared, meters squared and so on. Let's now look at some examples where we use this formula to work out either pressure, force or area. So the first example says calculate the pressure on the ground and we've got a house and we've got a ground and we've been given some measurements and we've also been given a force. The house exerts a force of 700 newtons onto the ground and to work out the area of the ground we can use the measurements that we've been given for the length and the height. So in this case we've got 2 meters multiplied by 2 meters which gives us an area of 4 meters squared. So that's 2 meters times 2 meters which equals to 4 meters squared. And we also have that the force in this question is 700 newtons. So finally, to work out the pressure, we can just use the formula above. So the pressure equals to the force in the question, which is 700 newtons, divided by the area, which in this case is 4 meters squared. We work this out, we find that we get an answer of 175 newtons per meters squared. So the pressure on the ground is equal to this. The second example says a pressure of 32 newtons per meter squared is generated by a force of 80 newtons on a surface. Calculate the area of the surface. So we're asked to work out the area in this question and so we need to use a rearrangement of this formula above. Area equals to the force divided by the pressure. And so in this case, we have that the force is equal to 80 newtons and we have that the pressure is equal to 32 newtons per meter squared. And so if we work this out, 80 divided by 32 is equal to 2.5 and for our units, the newtons cancel and we're left with meters squared. And so the area of the surface is equal to 2.5 meters squared. The final example says a pressure of 73.5 pascals is generated on a surface with area 9.8 meters squared. Calculate the force on the surface. So since we're trying to calculate the force on the surface, we need to rearrange this formula to make force the subject. And so in other words, we use the formula force equals to the pressure multiplied by the area. And so in this case, we're told that the pressure is equal to 73.5 pascals and we're also told that the area is equal to 9.8 meters squared. So if we calculate this, 73.5 multiplied by 9.8 on the calculator gives us 720.3 and for the units we need to think about how we can convert pascals into units which cancel with meters squared. And so in this case, pascals can be written as newtons per meters squared. Therefore, if we instead write pascals as newtons per meter squared, then we see that newtons per meter squared multiplied by meter squared gives us newtons since the meters squared cancel. We have 720.3 and the units are newtons. Therefore, the force on the surface is equal to 720.3 newtons for this question.